Hello, my name is Kathy Evans and I'm the coordinator of the MSC PT Advanced Standing Option at the University of Toronto in the Department of Physical Therapy. Hello, my name is Martin Kenen. I graduated from the University of Ottawa with a Bachelor of Science in Physiotherapy degree in 1998. After practicing for 11 years, I felt an urge to engage in scholarly practice and was driven to improve physiotherapy care and client outcomes. I therefore graduated from the Advanced Standing Option Program in 2012 and am now a faculty member at the Department of Physical Therapy. Hi, I'm Daniela Paraglia and I'm the Registrar and Admissions Officer within the Department of Physical Therapy. The Master of Science in Physical Therapy Advanced Standing Option allows eligible physical therapists who have a bachelor's degree in physiotherapy to acquire the master's degree in an online environment with a one on-campus residency. Throughout the program, there's a strong focus on our research curriculum. Who's eligible for this program? You may be eligible if you're a physical therapist who has successfully completed the Canadian National Physiotherapy Competency Exam and you are licensed for independent practice in Canada with a provincial regulating body such as the College of Physiotherapists of Ontario. You will have completed an appropriate physical therapy degree or equivalent from a recognized university with a final year average of at least a mid-B. Since 2015, internationally educated physical therapists who meet the above criteria may also be eligible to apply. We encourage everybody who's interested in the program to call us to discuss their eligibility. What does the program offer? We offer a focus on integrating research into your clinical practice. While you're in the program, you'll have access to the University of Toronto's extensive collection of online resources. We also have a learning environment that's distinguished by academic excellence and research. We pair students with a core PhD trained faculty advisor who has an appointment in the Rehab Science Institute. And they provide methodological expertise and guidance throughout your research project. You complete a three week on campus course followed by online courses over the following 10 month period. This culminates in a research project which provides you with a manuscript ready for publication and a poster presentation that you present at an annual Department of Physical Therapy Student Research Day. It's a 12-month e-learning and on-campus opportunity. It begins in September of each year and it will allow you to earn a graduate degree while continuing to practice in your community. Uh, people do need approximately at least a day to work on their research project which includes the data collection, the analysis, and the writing of their final paper. Now Martine will talk to you about the research curriculum. The research curriculum of the Advanced Standing Option Program is designed to assist you with answering a research, a research question that is pertinent and important to your practice as a physical therapist. The research projects are tailored to be feasible within the timelines of the curriculum and relevant to best practice. The study methodology can be quantitative or qualitative in nature with the proposed designs of surveys or interview. Support is provided by a faculty advisor who has experience in graduate supervision and is willing to share their expertise and assist you as you develop your research protocol and obtain ethics approval. The resources integrated in the curriculum facilitate the process of data collection and analysis. Specific guidelines are provided for the writing of a manuscript and poster presentation. The manuscript is expected to be of sufficient high quality to submit for publication to a peer review journal. The research and program evaluation for physical therapy practice units are spread across the year, starting with Unit 6, which is a three-week full-time on-campus session and is scheduled in the fall. The clinician develops and presents their research protocol and submits the proposal for ethics approval. The research units culminate with Units 10 and 12, which occur over the winter and summer months. With e-learning modules and faculty support, clinicians collect data, complete their analysis, 
and write their research paper. The research course ends with students presenting their research poster on research day and submitting their manuscripts. The following examples of projects highlight the clinical relevance of the studies, such as investigating the motor proficiency and generalized self-efficacy towards physical ac activity in children with intestinal failure, or exploring physical therapy practices in pediatric or cardiac care units. Advanced standing option students are also required to take a graduate level elective from the plethora of exceptional courses available at the University of Toronto. Students must request permission to enroll in the course from both the Department of Physical Therapy and the department offering the desired elective. The course is an excellent way to broaden and enrich your professional development. I can attest to the richness of the elective having taken a health behavior change course offered by the School of Public Health. Not only was I able to expand my network and collaborate with professionals from various disciplines, the course was applicable to my practice and patient care. The Master of Physical Therapy Advanced Standing Option offers enticing benefits to our graduates. The program allows you to expand your professional development and acquire the tools necessary to address ideas pertinent to the profession, seek answers, answers to clinical inquiries, and reflections about the practice of physical therapy. Graduates are equipped to engage in research initiatives in their clinical environments and further heighten their collaboration with the university. Graduates become increasingly involved in research opportunities, publications, and research presentations, thus become physical therapists that play a significant role in the advancement of the profession and best practices. The master degree also expands your professional opportunities as our graduates possess qualifications that are often necessary to obtain leadership roles, such as those required for advanced practice, academic settings, or managerial positions. The Advanced Standing Option Program is perceived as a valuable and enriching opportunity. Graduates report the experience being great and challenging, yet one that valued and respected their clinical expertise. The program is definitely deemed as a worthwhile experience. Daniela will now discuss the application process. So our application will open uh, in January with a deadline of late March and it will be available on our website at the link below. The application costs $120 and requirements include completing the online application which is available at the link mentioned here. You have to complete a letter of intent. Two references are required which I'll go into a little bit more detail about what that includes. You need to submit a CV and you also need to submit official transcripts. So first, the letter of intent. What we want to see from this letter of intent is a one to two page letter. This letter will help us assess your application and understand your career interests and goals. We would like you to summarize your professional background and describe your current clinical and research interests. We'd like you to identify your professional goals. And what we really want to know is how will this program help you achieve your goals? For the references, you will be required to submit two references and these individuals should be able to comment on your academic and research abilities. We recommend choosing referees who are very familiar with your professional career, so it is not necessary that they be professors. In most instances, people choose referees who are supervisors within their work setting. Once you submit their contact information and then you eventually pay and complete your application, your referees will be sent an automatic email. And you'll also be able to log back into the system to ensure that your referees did submit the references. For the CV, uh, we would like you to focus on the following headings. So your background, your education, please also include uh, any continuing education courses you may have taken either through work or other organizations, professional development, uh, your employment history, 
your involvement in research activities. And I do want to point out that uh, although research activities are not a requirement, we are interested in any research activities you may have completed, such as collaborations on projects, through work, or other organizations you may have worked with. And also your clinical, educational, or professional interests. I also have a link here on this page. Uh, this will give you some information on how to complete a CV if you're not sure where to start. So for more information on our program, we invite you to visit our website. Our contact information is also on the website uh, for both myself and for Kathy. So if you have an application question, please feel free to email me and Kathy will be able to discuss any questions you have about the program and whether it's a good fit for you. Thank you.